bought a house in New York because like I see you heard my story about like I was in a Kenyan group of women, Kenyan women group in America or something like that. And I posted about people helping uh, host people. And for some reason I was kicked out of the group because I posted about having people sign up to host other people. And I felt so bad. I'm like, why will somebody do that? I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna don't have people, like I don't, I don't have a place to host them, right? Yep. It was a blessing in disguise. I thank them for kicking me out of the group because they've propelled me to get to where I am right now. So Every video that I watch from you is everything because that's how I got that strong will, that strong will to help because I was like, wait a minute. I think my sister here, she's trying to help our very own people. And some of our people here in the US are trying to come for her. So that's kind of got my attention. And I was like, I'm not that kind of a person. I'm gonna help her or I'm gonna join her or I'm gonna do whatever to just do this with her because all she was asking is for people who can ask. And uh, they can for her. That. It really means yeah. a lot. I know that you actually watched that and decided to be a host. Because yeah, I cannot you host did that. Artists. You, know? you did that. I can yeah. tell you that so, because of what you went through. Mm -hmm. If you didn't go through that, then I could not even have bothered. I could have just watched yeah. like any other video. But God intended for you to go through that so that I can see it. And I'm not just saying because I've, I've watched many other videos. But my question was, why this one is it getting me that strong will to come in? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait, I mean, I'm not sure even. I don't know what this hosting is all about. What is it? She's trying to help our <laughs> people. The mission here was to make their transition comfortable and fast. Like you from America, why keep them in your house for three months with no with no progress at all? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Hello, hello everybody and welcome. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh and let me know if you can hear me. Hey. Rumi, can you hear me? Okay, what about Millie? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so today we're doing a live uh, and then also I'm going to talk about green card lottery application uh, in the beginning. I'm going to talk about adjusting uh, to life in the United States and then that's where Rumbi comes in. And then we'll talk about hosting and that's where Millie comes in. So we'll have, uh, I know there's new people who've not met these people on the screen yet. My name is Nafula. If you've not subscribed, Please, please subscribe. And also the other two have YouTube channels. They'll give you the link so that you can uh, subscribe. Thanks for your support. Thanks for everything. So we'll begin by them introducing themselves. So uh, let me start with uh, Rumbi. Yes. Introduce yes. yourself. <laughs> right. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. My name is Rumbi Zai Rachel, and I'm originally from Zimbabwe, and I am a TV 2023 winner. Okay, welcome. So we'll bring you back, Rumbi. So stay there, okay? okay? All right. So we'll bring Millie. Millie, tell us about yourself as well. Hi, everyone. Uh, once again, my name is Millie Segal, uh, commonly known as Millie and Chris in our channel, and I'm happy to be here. So okay. I'm looking forward to have a good one today. Yeah, so she has exciting stuff about hosting. So if you are, if you applied for the green card lottery and you know you're going to win because we're going to win, right? So she's your hookup. So we'll talk about uh, hosting later in the channel. Right now, I'm just going to go over some questions that people have been asking and then we'll bring them back. Okay, Emily, we'll see you in a few. So I host single people but I do, not host, I do not host families, like if you have kids and whatever. So this is how, or oh, this is why the, or oh, how the next guest is gonna come into the mix. Because you know, in my program, I advertise, I'm like, if you need hosting, apply. And I'm getting a lot of families apply and I cannot host them. But as much as I cannot host them, I've been working undercover to make sure like, you know what, at least you guys get somewhere you can go. Like if you win and you have a family, right? So, I advertise on my channel. I'm like, if you want to host somebody, please contact Nafula on my email and whatever. If you want to host, if you're in America. And that's how this next guest found me. So let's bring her here. Let me try. Hey there. Hey. Okay. So this is Millie. So let's begin. How did you find me? Let's start there. 
um through youtube randomly i was just doing my normal just watching videos and all that so that's how i got to know you because i think one of your videos i you know in my channel i do a lot of houses and all that so there's a video you did about buying a house through through youtube or something yeah so i yep. think youtube arithmetic must have bring you in because it was talking about you buying a house okay and most of my content is about houses and all that mm -hmm. i think that's how they ended up bringing you into my uh suggestion kind of thing because mm -hmm. i watch a lot of houses and all that so when i saw that and i was like nafula sounds like a kenyan name also <laughs> a Luya name, Village name right? and i was like wait a minute let me see this one who bought a house through facebook i think that's what attracted me how you entitled the title of your content something like that and then it was all about houses and my interest is in houses mostly i love houses i think i love houses too I'll yeah, buy a I house before I buy a car. <laughs> yeah, anything with houses, I go in full board. I'm crazy so. about houses too as well. But that's how you were suggested to all that I watch. And I was like, the Nafula name and all that must be Kenyan. And she bought a house. I think there was a title. If you remember that video, it was something you yeah, bought. Yeah, I did a while ago. Maybe I might post for the new people to yeah. watch it. But I did, I did it a while ago. And I bought a house in New York because, like I see, you heard my story about like, I was in a Kenyan group of women, Kenyan women group in America or something like that. And I posted about people helping uh, host people. And for some reason, I was kicked out of the group because I posted about having people sign up to host other people. And I felt so bad. I'm like, why would somebody do that? I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy a whole house. So I bought house and that's not the only house I have. I have a couple others. So all these DP winners are gonna win or whatever don't worry about that because getting depending on a second party to get hosting you get disappointed because i had people signing up and i don't have people like i don't i don't have a place to host them right i'm like why not i'll just get my own house and host these people in peace so i can control i'll be like one person per room maybe if they hosted them they'd be like we need three people per room but then now because it's my property i get to choose what i do right so yep. it was a blessing in disguise. I thank them for kicking me out of the group because they've propelled me to get to where I am right now. So yep. what inspired you to want to host? I think after I watched that video and I went all the way to how you were going and showing and talking why you did that, I reached a place where you've already explained how there was a group of Kenyan people who you were trying to help because you're trying to make our own very people transition well here in America. Mm -hmm. and there comes a group of people who are just not for it and they were coming for you so hard they had <laughs> to kind of <laughs> i think mm -hmm. you said they even removed you from the group and all that yeah so. they removed me from the group and then like i had you know when i started uh my youtube channel i started like last year i've, I've not been around for a while so yeah. i started last year maybe in september when the mm -hmm. green card lottery was starting and i'm like mm -hmm. you know what everybody i talked to back home they're like Oh, how do you apply for the green card how do you apply and yeah. i have my friends apply and they won and i'm like why don't i share this information with everybody so i uploaded a video of saying you know what this is how you apply for the green card lottery and i was surprised like even my kenyan people are coming for me stop lying to people whatever green card i'm like they know it says green card lottery they know it's luck right but they yeah. want to get all this information and i didn't give up and you know the good thing about me like if you attack me i attack you back like i i don't care about reputation you know reputation okay. will figure out later so i attack them back and they stop so when yeah. they stop uh -huh. then look at where we are we have all these houses and we have you i get a chance yeah. to meet you and you're ready to yeah so oh. where are you gonna be hosting what city and just tell us a little bit about the hosting like where are you gonna be doing that so after let me just go with her uh, after after i got to know what you're doing i had no idea what this hosting is all about because mm -hmm. i had to now listen to you more to understand it because the type of visa that i came with is a very different kind of a visa and i had to now try to dig in and find how does this hosting come about is it mm -hmm. anybody or what so i got to know that you're hosting uh specifically the dv lottery winners and uh, all that so after listening and checking so much about how it goes 
I kind of, I think the very video, the very video that I watch from you is everything because that's how I got that strong will, that strong will to help because I was like, wait a minute. I think my sister here, she's trying to help our very own people and some mm -hmm. of our people here in the US are trying to come for her. So that's kind of got my attention. And I was like, I'm not that kind of a person. I'm going to help her or I'm going to join her or I'm going to do whatever to just do this with her because all she was asking is for people who can ask and uh, they care for her. Like that. It really means yeah. a lot. I know you don't get paid. We'll get paid in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> but then for right now, now that we're on earth, do whatever you can. And I'm so, I'm so thankful that you mm -hmm. actually watched that and decided to be a host. Because yeah, I cannot you did parties, that. You know, you did that. I can yeah. tell you that so, because of what you went through. Mm -hmm. If you didn't go through that, then I could not even have bothered. I could have just yeah. watched it like any other video. But God intended for you to go through that so that I can see it. And I'm not just seeing because I've I've watched many other videos. But my question was, why this one is it getting me that strong will to come in? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait, I mean, I'm not sure even, I don't know what this hosting is all about. What is it? She's trying to help our very people. I know when you reached out on me on yeah. Instagram, and you know, I have a lot of messages on Instagram. Yeah. So like literally either my assistant is doing them, but sometimes, you know, when I'm just, I'm, I have two accounts, so I have to check. So I saw you and I'm like, who is this? But then I'm like, let me respond. And then we, we, you call we me and then late. we yeah. connected and then we are on the let same page. Yeah. I'm like, okay, she wants to help. I know, and people are like, oh, you have these houses, you're making money out of DV lottery winners or oh, whatever. I'm a Airbnb host. Like I'm a certified Airbnb host for like four years. So I can easily put all this room on Airbnb and yeah. make twice More the money. amount of money. Yeah. So I'm yeah. not doing this because like, I can't get anybody to stay in there. Actually the other houses that are empty, Airbnbers are living there. But if I get a DV lottery winner who needs hosting, I'll kick those people out and then I'll put a DV lottery winner because now you're changing a life. It's not, you know, sometimes it's not all about money. True. So that's what I'm saying, True. like, as much as I can't host like people with families with kids, I feel bad. And that's where you come in because you can host for families, right? Uh, not really families, because you see, I'm still very new in this and I'm trying, you're kind of, I'm asking you a million questions and you're there yeah. to kind of give me an idea. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I grabbed this idea, I was like, okay, the much I can do as a family, because you told me you're going for singles. I wanted to do singles, but I was like, you're already doing it. So mm -hmm. I can take couples, but mm -hmm. not with kids. Not with kids. What about couples with like a kid who's like, not a kid, like 12 year old who can be alone in the house? Yeah, because that's my issue there. You see, America is different for my yeah. people back home. Mm -hmm. When it comes to kids, it's a whole ball game. And I, I don't want to take those responsibilities. Especially when they get hurt in your house. That's why I don't host yeah. people with kids. They get hurt. They it's get a scared, whole ball game. Sick, you know? And you know, to get insurance in America, you have to be working. So you get employers, insurance. Because as yeah. DV lottery winners, you don't qualify for Medicaid. I don't know why people just say stuff like you don't qualify for Medicaid under the DV lottery winning is different unless yeah. you're 55 or over or something. You have medical issues and it's an emergency and you go to the ED, they'll pay for it. Otherwise, you'll get a bill. So you have to work. So if you come with a family, just understand you have to get a job. Once you get this job, this job will have insurance. That's why I get all the DV lottery winners a job with benefits. So they have health insurance in case they need to go to the hospital. They have like, they'll go just with a card and they'll be like, okay, we'll see you. So that's important that you have health insurance, especially with kids. That's why I don't host them. And I, com I completely understand where you're coming from. Like even if you can just host a couple and then they come here, they get a job and they bring their kids if they want to bring exactly. their kids. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Cause I'm like, I know as much we love babies, but America is so different when it comes to kids. If you come from Africa, it's so hard to understand. You'd be like, why don't you like kids? It's not about liking kids. It's like just, it's mm -hmm. different here. So yeah. just to make you transition well, you can look for a way. If you really need it, you can just look for a way and bring them over like my sister has already said it. That's what, that's what I was going to say. So I can take couples. I can take okay. a couple. Couples, but no kids, right? They can bring the kids later. For now, yes. Until God gives me more ways out. For now, because I'm still new in this, yes, I will say yes to that. And then, uh, Until... just to clarify, you have apartments where they'll stay in their own apartments. So yeah. it's not like they'll be like in a room 
with 20 different people, correct? So uh, what I'm saying, okay, those are different. They are apartments, but they're kind of different. There's that one which, depending, mm -hmm. uh, Cause it's, it's you know um, you know we are still in this like we've not put our two feet in we are as new as you can know. Mm -hmm. So if it's a couple and it's most of my apartments are two bedroom houses like mm -hmm. two bedroom apartments. Sorry, did I say houses? Two bedroom. Mm -hmm. So if it's a couple and they are two bedroom, they they will have a common bathroom, a common mm -hmm. not a common bathroom, a common kitchen, and a common uh, living room, a common mm -hmm. laundry. But they have the two. One bedroom is for this couple, and another bedroom is for this. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's completely that's fine. I, I want to. Like they have their own privacy, but then they can yeah. share, like a yeah. kitchen or whatever. That's completely fine. That's, that's how I do. Yeah. So because mm -hmm. if they rent the whole apartment, they won't be able to afford it. And you know, yeah. I try to make it so that it's affordable for everybody. So if yeah. you have somebody with two bedroom house, if you're coming from Africa, definitely they cannot afford that, which is good. Let them share. That way they're splitting the cost. Yep. So that way you're still getting whatever you're getting in the apartment, mm -hmm. but you're still helping them. And then how are the job opportunities over there? Oh, it's so easy. Like like Rumbi, by the way, Rumbi, if she's still listening, congratulations. You've already heard it from her. Jobs here is not even something to, it's not It's not something that uh, if if it's Africa, but I know many people, are, well, uh, they win this from all over the world. But mm -hmm. if you come from Africa, you know job is just a big thing. But here, it's just so easy, especially, it doesn't matter the state, but in my state here where I am, I mean, Iowa, it's it's an easy thing. In fact, when they know you come from uh, Africa and all these other countries, like if you're coming from, what do we call it, Mexicans, Spanish yeah, they know people. They know you're hardworking because you're they here. They know you're hardworking. They want you. <laughs> But we still have very strong job ethics. I'm not saying Americans don't. Please, my American people, don't come for me. I'm just yeah. saying that mm -hmm. it, it's something that you will not struggle, honey. When you're here, job is so easy. Once you have everything, mm -hmm. we will get you going. Like, and I'm you not... help them, like, resettle, like, get their social, get their ID, get a job. You'll help them through the process. And right? that's what God wants me to do because you see at the end of the day, it's not about just that. If I change my whole mind, if God just changed my whole mindset, it's about helping these people transition well without a struggle. I've mm -hmm. heard you say that, yes, they can live with relative and relatives just feed them, but they don't tell them what they're exactly. needing to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my intention here was to make their transition comfortable and fast. Like you yeah. said, they have a dream to come to America. Why keep them in your house for three months with no with no progress at all? So my intention was just to make them know what to do once they land here, once they have settled in, like what you need to do, where you go, like a job and everything. Of course, I'm learning from you. I've not done it. So mm -hmm. I'm learning from you. How you do it is what I'm going to borrow that uh, uh, kind yeah, of- Yeah, you, you'll do it as long as, as yeah. me to get me. Well, excuse me. If you are ready to help people, that's that's because it. Because I know I've been helped to where I am. I won't be here without anybody. You know, I didn't do yeah. it on my own. I'm not team solo. Like I had people help me. So if you wanna get my attention, just tell me you're gonna help somebody. I'm in a hundred percent, and that's what you stand for. That's why yeah. I was like, yeah, she she talks about stuff that I I stand for, and I know like you're doing it out of a clean heart. You're not doing it out of like, oh, bring those people. We, we stack them eight people in a room like potatoes because you want to make money that's mm -hmm. selfishness like don't stack adults everybody who won the green card lottery at least from africa they're 18 or over don't put adults in like why are you, it's like you're living in a slam in america that's unacceptable you know so yeah. here you're not gonna share a room that's one thing if you want to be part of hosting in a fuller hosting not two people in a room a room has to have somebody i mean one person it has to have a closet they have to have their own TV, you know, they have to have their own privacy. They can share a bathroom, that's fine. We shared bathrooms back home, we're fine. But for a room, unless you're married, two of you are married, there's no sharing a room. True. So what and else can you say? So you said you're in Iowa, right? Yeah, and before you go there, Nafula, just to make this a kind of something that I, I can, you know, that's where my heart is still heavy of who you are and what you've done. 
And I've, I've heard you saying uh, something there that is making a lot of sense. Many people don't understand. They think it's business. It's not business. Mm -hmm. You can have people come here with their money, pay whatever they want, and they get stuck and they get frustrated and they go back home after one year. And what you're doing and what maybe people who are doing, they have helped people to embrace the change, fit in into the culture and end up loving America and their via to achieve their dreams. Yeah. Exactly. So people can come here and they were doing well back home, but they come here with all the money and it just goes back to zero because nobody was there. Nobody exactly. was there to make them see this reality. A reality. So I'm just kind of trying to pump in. If you're listening to this, whoever is listening to this, no, it's it's with a clean heart. Yeah. Now, Fula Shalin, still we haven't met face to face. But the heart she has and what I've gotten from her, because I'm that kind of a person, is out to help. If anybody want to say that it's business, we are sorry, we are not the type of people to do that. We can go and do it the other way if we want to. Yes. But she has already said it. It's, it's out to make sure our people, not just our people, anybody who deserves this. And if you know you're okay and you have your way out, okay, don't reach out. But if you yes. know that you really need this, come, come. That's why God has given us this. And it's all for the glory of God. So we are doing this because God has put it in our heart to kind of help our people fit in and just embrace America because it's not easy to start. You can think you're okay until you land here and you're like, okay, what did they say about America? You know, and you get yeah. all thrown off. So that is what I wanted to say today above everything. Transition is not easy. Starting a life is not easy. As much as you might think you're prepared, it is not. You, you are not prepared enough to start. Until you have somebody who can hold you and show you, hey, this is where you're doing this. This is how we do this. And this is how you can fit in. And, uh, and that's what I've gotten from watching her, from watching her channel. And you can see those short clips of two minutes, three minutes of her just smiling, making those. Hey, let me tell you something. When I saw the smile of these people, I watched those two minutes, three minutes clips, and you see those people smiling. That is everything. Yep. yep. That yep. That's what we want. Everything. That's what we want. That is everything. The joy that they get is genuine because they found somebody who is holding them up. You can come here with a thousand dollars. You can come here with ten thousand dollars, but you can be so stranded until you take a flight back home. Exactly. But if you exactly. have somebody, yes. But if you have somebody who, with those, uh, with that fifty dollar or hundred dollar, but you have somebody who is there telling you this is the grocery, save this. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry to go in. Let me tell you something. You, met, you immediately I met you and did that video where I I just brought you in without telling you. I shared it into the Iowa group. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I said, uh, it's a God thing to host. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many stories I've heard of people who are already here and how they struggle to get where they are? Yeah, it's sad. Um, it's sad. So many sad stories, so many sad stories. And that's why I'm like, God bless her. God bless her. God bless her. And yeah, I it for you. That's why we do this, because other people are yes. doing it, and there are people who are there for money. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah it's true. Hosting. It's for true. Money. Like strictly, they don't care about your feelings. They don't care. They don't care about what you need. They don't care. Us, like when the developers, people, the ones who are living at the locations, they are together as family. If somebody needs something, go get it. And a lot of people arrive in the U.S. You can't imagine how many people arrive in the U.S. and they go in depression. A lot. People yeah. are on medication here. And why is that? Because here, it's not like we don't live a communal life. Like you don't know who your neighbor is. So if you're living in a house and nobody's talking to you, you don't have the social interaction. And that's an important part, especially if you're from Africa. If somebody takes you and puts you in a house by yourself, I and you don't talk there. to anybody, depression is going to hit you. I'm going like, to... Very fast. Very fast. Because it's a lonely country. Here, Very. the mental health in this country, people are just like stressed. They're walking around stressed. They've been working three different jobs, four different jobs. They're tired and stressed. So just when you come home and you see maybe Joffrey across the room, you're like, hey, Joffrey, how was work today? Just that little interaction makes a huge, huge difference that people don't. You can come with your money. Like you can have money and rent your whole apartment and furnish it. But if you don't have people there in this America, the way it is cold at this time, it's freezing. Oh, man. It's not freezing yet, but it's going to freeze. And then you're there alone in the house. My friend, you'll start seeing things. <laughs> so that's why, like, you know, the social interaction is important. So when they, you know, they come to you, 
or they come to me, at least I'm like somebody a contact. Yes, and, and they know there's somebody I can. Yeah, exactly. And the mind, the idea just knowing in case of anything, there's that peace of mind of knowing I have this person who no matter what I can run to any time and she's there. Yeah. So that peace of mind already is hope. It's giving them hope. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. they have that hope to know that I'm going to make it in this country. And that alone is everything. Depression will not even kick in. Like no, I'm going to make it. You have, you have family here. Yeah, and if I'm stuck, I have Nafula, I'm going to call. If I'm stuck, mm -hmm. I have Meli, I'm going to call. So that That's gives true. them hope to go on and do more, you know? So mm -hmm. I've had so many stories, and just bumping to you and getting to open my mind is all I wanted to say today. If, if, if nothing else, guys, if you're watching this, there are people who are genuinely here to just make it happen. And uh, if you can't do anything, and uh, just just don't make it look bad. Don't come for anybody because you want to make it look bad. My sister yeah. has gone through all that because of people who just, Kenyans here, and by them, you don't be shocked if those Kenyans, they went through hell to just settle. Maybe mm -hmm. they have that bitterness of, I made it through hell, so where am I hosting? If you went through hell, then make it better for another person. Exactly. Because God blesses us to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. And what you went through, you can give somebody else a smile and say, if I went through that, then I'm not going to let my brother go through it. I'm going to be here to just be used to make it better because what I went through was bad. So they might be doing it because they had it so bad when they came in and they're like, let them do it. Because even me, I did it. But here we are just trying to say we've been blessed and we want to be a blessing. God yeah. blesses us to be we able to. have like six rooms in the house. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. why do I'm like, Rumi lives in one. Like, you know, I'm not just like, if you start helping people, God will bless you. Amen. Yes, you exactly. Know? I'm like, before about... getting a house, maybe a, I had like apartments already. I had like property for Airbnb, I know. But getting houses has been easier for me since I started hosting people. I'm like, something opened somewhere in the heavens or something. So sometimes yeah. you know, somebody who's desperate and every time they go to bed, they're like, Oh my God bless Nafula. She helped me do this. You know, that's, that's all you need to actually make a breakthrough. People will be complaining about taxes. I'm like, what taxes? Taxes, Leo? What taxes? Because you know what? God has, has you everything you all figured out that you don't feel the pinch. But you if don't. you have little and you're just holding you just in your pocket, you'll just stay with that little, right? <laughs> even the time, even the time, I'll tell you, time. It doesn't mean that we weren't busy when we were in Africa, but time here is so precious. Mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. even get try to get time even for your own family. And when you come in, we create time for you. Take you for grocery, do all that, pick you from the airport. Honey, that is more than everything. Yeah, that people is, charge for that. That is more than everything because we've people had those charge cases. For that. Like even yeah. to host you, they'll yeah. charge you for DS260, they'll charge you for their dress, yeah. they'll charge you to pick up from the airport, they'll yeah. charge you to find your job. They'll charge you by the time you finish your like 2000 in before you even get settled in. If somebody yes. is going out of their way and doing it, and the reason why I do it, I do it so that you can help other people. So if I have like now, I'm, I'm going to be up to nine people. So if I have these nine people, if they host another nine people, how many people are here? And then those nine people now, exactly. 18, you host more, 18 people then people won't have hosting. Hosting shouldn't be a problem. It we shouldn't be a problem. People in America, like hosting should not, nobody should be like, okay, I want a green card. I have money to process my visa, but I don't have a place to go. That shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't. To be honest with you. It's I for pray. us to change the narrative, yeah. you know? Yes. And I pray that many people who are Kenyans, or uh, whoever Africans living and watching this video, kindly open your homes. If you're already here and you feel it's in you, You'll be blessed, not just your home. If you you can even, uh, you know, getting, I think getting an apartment, even if it's not your home, they will not, even if you come here with, let me say, you have money to get an apartment, approval for that apartment, it's not easy if you're you a can, because they need to run your credit, they especially if you know who you are. They have to run your credit, they have to no. run, run like your work history, so you don't no. have any work so. history, you don't have any taxes that you file, so you yeah. don't have any credit. So how yeah. are you going to get an apartment? You can so you need somewhere for at least a year yeah. until you can get your own, comfortably get your own apartment. Yes. So it doesn't matter if you have the money or not. There are people God is just putting here for the sake of just helping and just loving on you and making life easy for you. So if you embrace this, reach out. Mm -hmm. If you know it's going to be trouble, just stay away. Yep. Those are the if, you, if, you are, if you are out there, you want the DV lottery or whatever, 
Do not, I have a, a website, nafulaconnect.com. You can go there and apply for hosting. Yeah. And if we have a place, we'll host you. Like, we won't let your visa expire because you don't have hosting. Mm -hmm. So go, we don't care. I'm hosting, like, the person coming next day is from Fiji. I have another one from Sri Lanka. I don't even know where that is. Ooh, you know? Yeah. 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 So I, don't, yeah. I don't discriminate. Like, you have to be from Kenya, from Africa. Africa. Yeah. You need hosting. You don't have anybody to host you. You have your visa. We'll host you. We'll find somebody to take you in. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's Amen. what I like because you see how how when it comes from the heart, you can hear how it just flows. Because mm -hmm. when when it's genuine, you will get it. When it's genuine and it's not created just for the sake, it's you will get it. If you know what I mean, I don't know how else to explain. Mm -hmm. And it's genuine. I stopped what I was doing as a business person to do this because somebody was genuine. Mm -hmm. You get it. I was inspired by Nafula because she appeared to be genuine to me. We've not met physically. Yeah, but really, so, I can tell it's you. It's amazing that we haven't yeah. met and we, we just talk all the time like we've known each other for years. Yeah, and know? some people even had to be. When I posted on my Facebook, some people, Mindy, you want to do this? I've had so many stories about hosting. Yeah, that's not, oh, I know. No. And you know, like even the people I'm hosting, to be honest with you, like when I do this, I know there'll be a bunch of outliers. Like there'll be people who are just going to act crazy, you know? Because when you host people, I don't expect all these people to be good. You're going to get if people come with different personalities you get people who's pretending to be good because they want to be hosted you know yeah, so yeah. i understand that i'm, I'm not expecting that. like everybody i'm hosting is gonna be good and help other people but if yeah. i just get one person just one who's gonna host somebody else for me that is satisfaction i feel like i achieved my goal you know that's what we want like africans helping other african people yeah, because I'll give you an example. Somebody in Seattle just called me the other day. I've not told you that. He came here with 800,000 Kenyan shillings. I'm Kenyan. Nafula is Kenyan. So I don't know if you put it in dollars. That's like $7,000, US dollars, something like that. And they were hosted by a friend or a relative. They ended up, the relative ended up making them paying their own bills until they went back to zero because i posted it into the iowa group and somebody had to just call me and tell me that god bless you my yeah. sister if you're doing that i landed in this country with eight hundred thousand kenya shillings and somebody used it for took That's advantage that. of it because they knew i had yeah. money and yeah. left me to the streets somebody a stranger had to come yeah. and pick me That's... people have gone through hell so i don't know how else to put this out there but guys yeah, who needs hosting? If you need hosting, just apply, you know? What's yes, going to happen? What, you know, just, just apply if you need hosting. Uh, especially if you're from Africa, like, we'll take care of you because we want to build back Africa. You can't build... We are very few here. We can't build, like me and Millie, we can't build the whole village in Western province. We need more people, right? Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't host more people, we wouldn't get more people here. So we are doing it so that our people back home will also benefit. I want and you to come here and go build a nice house. So when I have my house there... There's yours that's also nice, not just mine that looking good and everybody else around me is poor, you know? And help so that's others. What you want to do. And they should be a change. And trickle down all the way to the villages. Yeah. Thank you again. But uh, your question, go to go back to your question, I'm in Iowa, Burlington, Iowa. Mm -hmm. It's a city. Burlington is a city, uh, like you see, I don't know how to say. We are in between, we are at the border of Illinois. We are in the Midwest. The Midwest mm -hmm. also is very cold. I've heard you saying New York is cold. The Midwest is also very cold because I'm three three hours drive from Chicago. So that mm -hmm. is the easiest way to show you where I am. Three hours drive from Chicago, the Quad Cities or Kansas City is like four hours drive from where I am. Missouri, if you know Missouri, is like four and a half hours from here. So I'm giving you a picture of where I am. Okay. So I'm in Iowa, but I'm surrounded with all this big city. I know Burlington, Iowa is not really famous, but I'm giving you a picture. So, but Chicago is well known, or if not Chicago, I can say Springfield, Illinois is like mm -hmm. an hour and a half drive from here. I know Springfield people know it. And you know, like wherever you are, if like yeah. even if you're in the bushes, I don't care. As long as somebody's <laughs> gonna land there, you get them yeah. a job, you get them yeah. up and moving. If they don't like the city or whatever, they'll just move you can somewhere really else. Relocate, yeah. You can relocate. US is a land yeah. of like once you have your permanent residence, you can move. Anywhere. Your wings and fly. Yeah. We'll be happy to see you fly to a place you're comfortable. Exactly. I'll be happy. Yeah. Like when I see somebody driving a better car than I do or living in a better house and yeah. I hosted them. That's a proud moment, not a exactly. jealous moment. You know? exactly. It's so satisfying. So what yeah. I'm saying is the the location that's what you asked. I'm in Iowa. 
okay. I will. So by, by I in case anybody uh, is interested in hosting, if you are a couple, then she'll be so much. You can reach out to me. You can apply through my website. I'll connect you to her, and then we'll go from there. Thank you so much for being here. And we are open to singles too, but I just took couples because I realized you don't do that. Yeah, even singles, yeah. I know like uh, the DV lottery, like 2024, they've started just the interviews in, in uh, October. So as the days, I have more people I have to reach out. I've been busy, but I'll reach out to more people. So we'll have a lot of people to post. But then okay. if we get more people, these people that we are hosting, they'll have to move out, get apartments quicker so that we can host other people. More so it's people. possible. So yeah. we can host a lot of people if we wanted to. We just have to do it the right way and the right yeah. mindset and from the heart, like you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Anything you want to add on um, before we let you go? Let somebody has a question. It's just all about hosting, nothing else. That's why I'm here today. It's all about hosting because it's a God thing and God just dropped it in my heart to help. That's it. It's okay. so as simple as that. So if you're she's not a DV lottery winner, you know, a lot of people like I I'm think not. everybody's a DV lottery. She's not even a DV lottery winner, and yeah. she's like, you know what? I'm gonna host a DV lottery, DV lottery winners, you know, I'm which not. is really good. Yeah, I came here through marriage, so I didn't understand even what Marceline was doing. I had to go and and and, and, <laughs> and dig, and you're like, what is this lottery thing? But I'm yeah. so thankful that you know you decided to do this. And like I tell you, when I started, I didn't know what I was up to or whatever. But now that I have all these people around me, like I feel, I feel proud. I'm like, look at all these African people in New York. You know, like it's a proud moment. I'm like, you know, I have a bunch of immigrants in there. My sisters, my brothers, which is really nice. You'll have the same feeling. Wow. So you kind of creating a community already, huh? Yeah, it's already a community. I'm like, now I'm not like, you know, friends here, you need a, okay, can you, are you off on this day? Let's go out. Now I'm like, Rumbi, let's go eat somewhere, you know, let's go okay. out. And then wow. it just take and then I'm out there, you know, and it's like my sister, we speak the same, the culture is the same and everything else. We're going over there. We're like, who's eating frog legs? You know, like we're, <laughs> we go to a restaurant, they're selling frog legs. I'm they like, do. This, you know, and we can relate. Mm -hmm, and we can relate. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. I'm going to bring uh, Rumbi. Thank you so much for being here, Rumbi. Your contribution, I know you've been in the background, but you've been here. Thank so you. thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to let you guys go. I'm going to see if there's any question here that you know, I can answer that I've not answered before, and then I'll call it a day. Oh, just to add on this, we have a YouTube channel, and that's the name appearing there for a channel. As she's okay, yeah. So Millie and Chris, that's yeah. They can just Google that, right? No, like search it on YouTube, correct? Yeah, that's our YouTube channel. Just in case you wanna know who. And we I'm are. gonna put the link on this video, like on this live. I'll put a link at the bottom. If you've mm -hmm. not subscribed to this channel and you're watching me, seriously, dude, come on, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and the other two, you please subscribe. So when you win the DV lottery, at least you know, like, okay, she'll she'll remind me that you know the results are out. That's that's the good thing. And make sure you turn the notification on, so you know when you are up, right? And or when we're doing a live, at least you'll be notified. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having us, Shalene. And Ruby, congratulations. I know I'll meet you one day. Yeah, you'll you'll meet. I'll I'll bring you here one time. I'll bring everybody. We'll do a huge bash. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Stuff, so we'll we'll get together sometime. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Okay, Bye. thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Okay, you too. All right. So let me take a few questions. Let me see what questions you have, really quick. Uh, let me see. Oh, Millie can make a good preacher. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. She's she's uh, very religious, so that's that's a good thing. <laughs> Millie, you have a calling right there. Okay, let's see. Um, so Brania is asking, can you help find a host who can take a family? It's so hard because life in America is expensive. That's for one. So if I bring somebody like you know, a husband, wife, and you have three children, two children, that's that's a huge financial burden that I don't want to give somebody. You know. So you can just come as a couple, just come, work hard and bring your kids because you give birth to those.